Hey, this is Matt once again, and quite a few people actually asked me to do the Sleepaway Camp movies, and I forgot that I didn't do them. But this is the first one, came out in 1983. Of course, the people remember the most the twist ending it's a boy now I do have the old packaging Anchor Bay had which they got in deep shit because the first time they released this it was a red cross so then they had to change the shit so it doesn't have a red cross on it and then actually the first Anchor Bay DVD was a cut version but this is the Stream Factory DVD, so it's not the cut version. But I kept the case because I like I like the case of this. Now Silverway Camp. I can't say it was a favorite of mine. Even now watching it, I don't love the film. I've never loved the film. I actually like the sequels, well, 2 and 3. I'm actually more of a fan of Sleepaway Camp 2 and 3, which I'll talk about those after this one. I don't know, those ones, I guess it depends. Like, 2 and 3, I, I think, are more fun. They're meant to be more fun. I, I just, for me, I found much more to them. I don't hate this film like I used to. I think it's okay, and I'll explain why in a minute. But... I, I still maintain the fact that if it wasn't for the ending, where you find out, people know it by now. If you're not, sorry I'm going to spoil it, fair warning. The ending of this film is, dot dot dot, Felissa Rose, you think it's a girl, but it's really a boy. Before the crying game and shit, there's sleepaway camp. I still think that if it wasn't for that ending, people would not talk about the film that much. I really do believe that. You can disagree, but I don't think it would be as much of a cult film if it wasn't for that ending. Because that's the thing people talk about the most. Rewatching the film again, I will admit there's some stuff I didn't mind. I mean, the plot, there's a Bodhi Nazi at the beginning. And then sometime later, these kids, Felissa Rose and her cousin, played by Jonathan Tearson, they go to camp. Felissa Rose's character gets bullied. Angela gets bullied a lot because she's quiet. She doesn't talk. For some reason, they don't like that. And people start dying. I will say, first off, that's a good cover, good poster. Felissa Rose, she does fine as Angela. I would say I probably prefer Pamela Springsteen, her Angela, but they're two totally different ways of playing the character. But Felissa Rose, even though she has little dialogue, the look she gave, her body language, being very quiet, you know, huddled into herself, um, using her body, her eyes to express her emotions, uh, Felissa Rose didn't do a bad job at all. I like, you know, her performance in this. You know, just from that, you could feel sorry for her. Uh, Jonathan Tearsden, who plays the cousin, I keep wanting to say brother, but cousin. I like him. You know, he's got a foul mouth. He'll see cot suckers and pricks, but he's always trying to stand up for his cousin. You know, try and do the right thing. He says my favorite line in the movie. Where someone goes, eat shit and die, Ricky, and he goes, eat shit and live, Bill. I love that. I've never heard that before. Eat shit and live. And that's actually something I'm probably going to steal more from now on. Because I love that expression. You shouldn't die. Eat shit and live. So that's a great memorable line. And I like the score bit at the end credits. Has a good, fun, like, not fun, but it has a good, I don't even want to say beat, but it, it fits well for an 80s slash film, the, the score at the end. I don't know why, for some reason, it reminded me a little bit that you would see in, like, a, 
Italian movie or or Lucio Fulci movie or something. The the store at the end of the f end credits. I don't know why. And also some of the weird stuff he was trying to put in. I mean, this film has pedophilia in it, where this big guy tries to do something to Felicia Rose, but he gets his comeuppance. You do have kids actually the right age. It's not 19, 20 year olds trying to be 14, 15 year olds. They really are. They really were like 14, 15 year olds. And it's short enough, 84 minutes, that even though it still has some pacing problems, there's a softball, you know, baseball scene that seems like it goes on forever. Uh, and it, it does have a lot of weird stuff. The Aunt Martha, which we see at the beginning, who sends our two lead kids out. She's fucking weird, and she's so off. But then I guess at the end, you find out why. Because she did this to Flissero, so... I guess it should have been a person that was weird and off. Um, a lot of guys wear very, very tight, tight short shorts. Like this one guy wears this tight red shorts. Pretty much sees dick ready to burst out of the fucking thing. Uh, when they're cooking, you see like strips with flies on it. And you have a fucking pedophile going, calling the kids baldies. You get the idea why. Uh, when you find out bits of the background of Felicia Rose's character, like her dad was homosexual, because you see a scene with him in bed with his lover, and then the whole switching genders. It definitely tried to do different stuff compared to other slasher films. And maybe I'm being kind on it. When I see shit like this, I'm sorry if you're a fan of this movie, but other than the gore, I think this film sucks. Although I will say I like these films more than this. I find much more to these films. April Fool's Day, uh, Friday 13th films, for me personally. The, the death scenes, I'm not, eh, didn't think much of. The pedophile gets his just desserts, you know, boiling water, but that scene for me goes on forever. Uh, bees in the bathroom, I'm like, Okay. Uh, someone just killed in the shower and you see the knife go down, like ripping into it. Oh, okay. The curling iron going up the cooch. Yeah, it's pretty, ugh, you know, idea. Uh, sort of the head guy who's a dickhead. He gets an arrow to the neck. Decent effect. Although, if you watch it, you can see the string, but, you know, I prefer that over CG. That's the thing, if, if, if I want to rant on a Sleepaway Camp movie, it's going to be this piece of shit. This fucking bullshit. But this one, like, the Part 2 and 3, I got more of the fun, the death scenes, Pamela Springsteen's entertaining performance. Uh, this one, it's like... Okay, there's a guy with a fake mustache. And earlier in the film, he had a real mustache. Uh, it, again, uh, the death scenes I'm like lukewarm about. The ending, the twist. It's, you know, memorable. But I don't know, I mean, it's better than shit like New Year's Evil, Mountaintop Motel Massacre. Final exam and shit. Like Felicia Rose, I mean, her, her, the character that's killing people. Granted, I mean, the, he's pretty much just picking on people who wronged her or wronged people she cared for. But at the same time, I can't say I really sympathize too much when she killed a bunch of kids who were dead in sleeping bags. I mean, they didn't really do much. What, the little bit where they threw sand and while well, she's walking away from being in the water? That's, I don't know, that stuff. And even the, the kid at the end who she has the decapitated head in her lap, they didn't deserve it. So, kind of lose any sympathy with the Felissa Rose character that maybe was trying to do. 
and I don't know, again, scenes just went on too long. The death scene of the guy boiling water, the the softball scene, like there's stuff that still could have been cut out. <clears throat> With that said, though, sorry about that. The the performances by Felicity Rose, Jonathan Tiersten, I like. The score at the end, uh, definitely uh, decent, all right score. It's not too long of a movie in the point, you know, running time wise. The again, sort of a, the ending and sort of a little bit of different stuff they try to do with it. Uh, trying to push it with the again the, the pedophile guy at the beginning and you know these actual young kids saying this dialogue which to be honest kids would say that today let alone back then they would talk this you know cursing you know, they would curse a blue storm so the fact that the kids are not just 19 year olds playing 15 years they were fit I appreciate a little bit more so overall, it's an okay film. You know, two and three I like more. I just have more entertainment out of them, but it's okay. You know, I don't hate it as much as I use it. It's okay. Again, if, if I want to rant on a sleepaway camp movie, this is the one to do it, which is from the same director as this one. So I'll get to that. But before that, I'm going to talk about sleepaway camp two, unhappy campers, and sleepaway camp three, teenage wasteland. Uh, thanks for hearing some of my thoughts on the film. Take care, and we'll see you guys for another video in the month of October. See you guys later.